Peter, turning to Vanquist Bank, your credit card business, it appears to be performing extremely well with improving credit quality at a time when most other credit card operators are finding life very tough indeed. What are you doing differently? Well, Vanquist is a bit different because it operates in the non-standard part of the market and that means we've tailored our products, our customer service and all the credit science that we use in that business to the particular segment uh, that we serve. Now one of the key parts about Vanquis is what we call a low and grow strategy to credit. So new customers in Vanquis typically join us with a credit limit of £250, so a lot lower than most mainstream card issuers will give. We then take time to get to know a new customer before we'll consider them for a credit line increase. The average balance on a Vanquis uh, credit card account is about £650 today with a credit limit of around £900. So again a lot lower than most mainstream card issuers would, uh, would see. The other thing about Vanquist is we have a, a much higher level of customer contact uh, than most of the credit card issuers would have. For instance, we talk to every customer on the phone at the point of uh, applying as part of the account opening process. We also text message our customers, for instance, when a payment's due or if they've gone over the credit limit. And who would be a typical Vanquist customer? A typical Vanquist customer will be in regular employment, probably earning up to £30,000 per annum. They'll have a bank account, but probably only limited access to credit, and they're much more likely to be in rented accommodation than to be a homeowner. Now, obviously, we do operate in the non-standard part of the market, so the other, the other thing you'll see is a Vanquist customer who may well have had a problem with credit in the past, or it may just be they've got what we call a thin credit history, and that could be because they've moved house frequently, or they've had very little experience of using credit before. Now, what Vanquist offers is, the chance for those customers to build or repair their credit rating. So Vanquist is operating in a growth market then? Well yes it is. There's probably well over 10 million adults in the UK who can't access credit from mainstream lenders or high street banks and Vanquist uh, will provide a, a credit card offer for a good proportion of those. At the end of September in fact we had 659,000 customers on the books and that's a 31.5% increase on last year. Now, Vanquist is the most active participant in the non-standard part of the market, so we are seeing very strong demand for our products. Having said that, we're only accepting about one in five of the applications that we're seeing, so we're very uh, carefully managing the growth in this business. So Vanquist is a growth business, but those gro rates of growth are very carefully controlled. You've reported impairment rates running at record low levels in the business, despite the gloomy economic picture. So how have you achieved this? Well, we've had very tight credit standards in place now for well over three years. And when you combine that with our low and grow strategy, it's not just about being tight on initial underwriting. We've been very tight on credit line increases too. I guess if you think about it, as each month goes by, a bigger and bigger and bigger proportion of the receivables have been originated against those tighter credit standards. That's really benefiting our impairment performance. And you've also been investing in Vanquish recently to accommodate future growth. Yes, well that's in terms of the call centre and as well as the Chatham call centre we've recently opened a second call centre for Vanquist in Bradford in our new uh, Provident head office building and that centre is now fully operational. So in due course that's going to create about 250 new jobs in Bradford and that means that we've lots of capacity to cope with future growth. So the future obviously looks pretty bright for Vanquist despite the gloomy economic environment. Well yes, I think it does. Now I do think we'll see unemployment increase in the future, although if you look at some of the underlying drivers of uh, unemployment, such as youth unemployment, they're not really segments that are going to affect our business. And although Vanquist customers are typically in more regular employment than our home credit customers would be, we do believe the business is less sensitive to changes in the employment market than a mainstream credit card issuer would be. And that's because of our tight underwriting, our policy of only serving customers with limited indebtedness, and the low and grow approach to credit and all that means that the uh, risks in the business are really well controlled. Vanquist has recently launched a range of retail deposits for the first time. What's the strategy behind that? Well, Vanquist has always had a banking licence since it was started up, and it's always been our plan to fund the business with retail deposits uh, when the business got to scale, and we define scale as £300 million of receivables. Now, we passed that milestone during the second half of last year, so following a dialogue with the FSA, I'm really pleased that we've been able to activate deposit taking into Vanquist as a means of funding the business. Uh, we started that in July. So the early indications from the launch of the Retail Deposits Programme are pretty positive by the sounds of it. Yes, I'm very pleased with how the launch has gone. We've already raised £50 million in fixed-term deposits with a one- and two-year two year duration. 
which interest rates are between 3.2% and 4% and that's very much in line with what, what we expected. Now we quite deliberately had a slow start but during one week in September when we dialed the rates up to near the top of the best buy tables we brought in £30 million so there shouldn't be any worries around bringing in the amount of money that we need to fund Vanquist. So the plan from here on in is to get to a deposit book of between £100 and £125 million by the end of this year and then by the end of next year to be funding 80% of the Vanquist receivables which is the target we agreed with the FSA. So what are the main attractions for Provident Financial of raising retail deposits? Well firstly it allows the Provident Financial Group to extend and diversify its funding base. Secondly it means that the Vanquist business is now self-financing so no longer needs funding uh, from Provident the parent. And thirdly with the interest rates that we're paying even after adding the overheads and liquidity requirements it means that the rate of interest uh, on those funds is quite attractive it's less than 6%.